So morning all, uh, another day on the U36 and a really exciting one today as finally replacing this piece which is really heavy for these nice Sparco bucket seats. Um, they are used but uh, they're Evo 2 pluses which means they're fiberglass um, really lightweight seat um, I think they're around 6 kilograms each um, I thought I got quite a good deal on them on eBay as they were 200 for the pair plus some universal side mounts and if you think a new fiberglass Sparco seat is about £350 just for one so looking forward to putting it in the car and I think I weighed this at around 22, 26, 25 kilos so it's got to get rid of it. So there are loads of videos on how to install bucket seats I'm not going to bore you with all the details but I think people something that they normally miss out is if you've got a side mount how do you actually fix it to the floor because you've got lots of different options um, if you didn't know, a side mount is actually isn't the word, so you have these holes. Um, this is a universal side mount, and you can adjust height just by selecting which hole you want. Um, where the problem comes is how you mount this mount to the car. So, move those out of the way. In the most simplest form, uh, you'd use the E36, you know, factory holes. But as you'll see, being universal and not specific for an E36, they don't fit. Also, people don't like sitting that low, um, you know, bolting it straight to the floor. And also in an E36, it's not completely flat as that side's a bit higher than that side. So you have many different options. Um, the first being getting some E36 specific subframes and they basically fill the gaps here and then you just bolt your side mount on top of that. Um, these are good, but very expensive. I think about £100 just for one, so I will not be doing that, as this is a budget build. Um, the best option, I think, especially if you don't care about, you know, if it's just built for you, you're not going to be sliding the seats, is, this is just rough, by the way, it's not finalised. You simply get two bars... Um, obviously measure up your distances and stuff and that'll stay and you just weld these bars in so you know from the sill to the transmission tunnel and then it gives you lots of options in being able to, whoops, in being able to you get the idea of being able to bolt the um, side mounts in um, one thing more to note on an E36 is, so, the traditional way to, you know, mount a side mount is like that, but you want the seat, the bucket seat, to be as near the transmission tunnel as possible, so you actually invert this side mount, so it pushes the seat further towards the transmission tunnel, and then you just do it normally on this side. So... We'll get these welded in and bolt the seats in. So here's a clip of the bucket seats installed. Um, I really like the way they look. Uh, I think they're a really good seat, especially because they're fiberglass and lightweight. Need to clean it a bit more, but um, they sit really well in the car. I'd say they're not perfectly straight, but um, it's much better, you know, getting a bit of square tubing than paying £70 uh, to get them perfect with, you know, the E36 specific seats, uh, subframes. Um, this is just the driver's one. 
Uh, so the next step is harness. So in the previous video, I was uh, mentioning that I was trying to stick under a thousand pounds for the car and him. <coughs> Pardon me. And that's pretty much on target still. Um, the buckets were 200 with the mounts. Um, I've bought a harness, so I'll show you that in the in a bit. And the car itself was 600, so totally I'm at 860. Um, still need to buy a hydro, weld the diff, and I think that's about it. Maybe coilovers. I don't really want it at this part. Um, and the reason why I said before it's a race car kind of slash drift car is I'm not going crazy full on drift car yet with um, any of the mad uh, modifications you can do in terms of getting better angle so if you just swap the diff out it is kind of a race car as well um, so I might get a standard diff so I could do say a track day compared to like a drift event but keeps the options open. As with most of this build it's been pretty budget um, either sec you know, like the second hand seats or just straight eBay parts whereas today's a bit different it's the only thing I've not really skimped on and um, it's quite nice to have a new part. So, I'm going to open it and if you don't know yet what it is, this might make it a bit more obvious. Um, always wanted a harness since quite a young age and here we go. Yeah, so really excited for these. Um, didn't really want to buy a cheap eBay harness and Mainly I just really like the looks of these. Um, it's a bit backwards, but there we are. Um, which, uh, I'm not really into unboxing videos, but oh, it's nice to have this new. Um, it's a lot thicker than it looks on the picture, which is good. It's upside down. But Quality looks good, nice and new. Um, I think you get the bolts as well, so the main thing is to see what it looks like in the car. Can't wait. So here's the harness. Um, as I said before, I really like the look of this one, especially in blue. Most of them are red, uh, but I was managed to get this one. I'd say it's 60 quid, which I think is quite a good deal for a, a side belt harness. I know it's only three point, but it's all I need. Really simple to fit, just three holes with three bolts. So let's see what it looks like in the car. So here's the finished product. Um, I think harnesses always really finish off a car, uh, just make it look complete. Really happy how it's come out. Um, and I have to do some adjusting probably, but just want to drive it really. Uh, I do know about this whole, I think it's 45 degree angle thing's not good for your spine. Um, it's only temporary. I have seen it on the internet and I really can't afford a proper harness bar. So I've seen people kind of weld square tubing, maybe cut a hole through it, put it on top of those bolts and weld it in. It's reinforced so it looks pretty strong. And then it'll kind of be just flat rather than having this steep angle, but looks good.